Uh, oh, no. 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 <laughs> uh, I'm not going to tell you what we just said. Oh, no, no. Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions. You did some Corbin. Okay. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Twitter, more juicy content. Oh, I didn't make it today. And today, uh, we're gonna do something a little different. What's that from? Uh, Star Trek. Yeah, I knew that. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we are gonna be doing the most anticipated films from India. Oh, and this is coming up this year. Yeah, eighty-three. Yeah, there's my, this is, I, I kind of went through uh, a couple lists and I saw what, what intrigued me. There's actually a bunch coming out that's really exciting. Actually, Did I just see something with Alia? Yeah, there's a bunch and with Alia. Sanjay? I'll show, I'll tell Let's you. Do it. Let's go. Uh, Come on. But we got a bunch with Akshay Kumar in it. Um, like, I think he's coming out with three or four films, it, I think. Is he going to uh, be in a bathtub and a speedo? Vicky Kershaw has a bunch coming out. Alia has a bunch. Ranveer has a couple coming out. Cool. And so it's a, it's a big year. So this is just going to be a list, and it's really no particular order. I kind of just put, like, I think 10 or 12 movies Random from movie. that that intrigued okay. me. Cool. Uh, so the first being uh, KGF2. Of course. Uh, I should have said that one. Yeah. And I. How, why would I? That is for us. Yeah. We've been waiting for that for... Longer than and I think actually, if we watched it again, we might like it even more. I bet we would. Because this was what second or third it movie was early. that we saw. It was very. And I would have loved to have seen it in theaters. Oh yeah, because we we missed it in we theaters. We missed it. Yeah. Uh, but it was one of the first ones. But the uh, the, the blood soaked land of the blood soaked land of Kola Goldfields KGF. Really? Did you know that? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Shows how much we know. We are so stupid. That's why it's called KGF. The Color Goldfields. Well, you learn something new every day, kids. Keep on learning. The blood soaked land, much better that way, Color Goldfields, has a new overlord now, Rocky, whose name strikes fear in the heart of his foes. Mm -hmm. It's true. His allies look up to Rocky as their savior. The government, not so much. Yeah. I don't know. It just I'm hoping it. that they, because we, we had a lot of stuff we liked, so there's some we didn't like. Like I said, I don't know if we watched it again, maybe we wouldn't. Like, we appreciate it more because we know a lot more about India cinema now. I, I, uh, but I'm still hoping they improve upon what the first one did, even though the first one had a lot of great action scenes. And we enjoyed it. Yeah. We enjoyed it. Um, and we walked away from it liking it. I think my biggest gripe I remember was the editing in the beginning. It was a little chop, 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 yeah, chop, we, chop, 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 chop. But maybe it's two different films, the first half and the second half. Yeah. But yeah, I was but so excited. Excited about those. this one. It's the same director, and it also has Sanjay Dutt in the second one. Yep. Which is exciting. Yep. So, next one. The Jersey, the Hindi remake of Jersey. Uh, Jersey is, it's a South Indian film. It's a, f a field cricket, uh, a failed cricketer decides to uh, revive his cricket career in his late 30s, despite everyone skeptical about his abilities to do so. Once again, it is Shahid Kapoor uh, making the remake. Uh, so, I, I love Shahid Kapoor. I will see anything he does. We will. We will see the original. We will see the original. I one promise beforehand. you. Don't worry. Don't panic. But that's why it's on this list. Next, yeah. Gulabo Satabo. Ah, uh, yeah. that's him. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome, right? <laughs> Go ahead. He's gonna get an Oscar just from the picture, right? <laughs> Amitabh Bachchan and Ayushman Corona to star together in Shujit Sitar's quirky family comedy. And you know who Shujit is? Piku. Piku. Yes. And Vicky Donner. Pink. Uh, so uh, a very talented right there. Oh. They're teaming up again. Uh, My goodness. I'm hoping it's just as good as we love Piku. Oh, And I know man. people love Vicky Donner. We haven't seen it. But uh, it looks from uh, Ayushman Karana yeah. and Amitabh Bakshan. And Amitabh Bakshan with him at the helm. Are you kidding me? Yeah. It's going to be It's going to be really good. Also, he has it's another. It's going to be a beautiful. <clears throat> It's gonna uh, be a beautiful night. Hey, a little shout out to say his name again. Uh, Shujit Sakar. He has another one coming out this year. Say what? And it's a biopic, and it's called uh, Udam Singh, starring Vicky Kishaw. Yeah, sweetness. And so that's exciting. Next one. Oh yeah, this one's interesting. Lakshmi Bomb. Hmm. It's uh, coming out, I believe, June fifth. But uh, it is 
Lakshmi Bum. Lakshmi Bum. That looks old school. That Horror poster. comedy film starring Akshay Kumar. Horror comedy? Uh-huh. Okay. But he's playing a transgender. Akshay. <laughs> Bring it. So Akshay, actually, I, I found... He's actually coming out with like four films this year. Maniac. Uh, but this is one that I thought was really interesting. Four uh, freaking films in a year? Yeah. Uh, but I thought it was really interesting that Maniac, he, he's playing a transgender person. Uh, and he came out with a, a uh, he put an Instagram post. He said it, he's really excited, but he's also really nervous about it. So I'm hoping that Yeah, that is means, it going to be like... Well, I know it's not going to be making fun of. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm assuming based on what it's going to be... Uh, that my first thought is going to be a la kind of like uh, Rocky Horror. Maybe. I like it. So it's coming yeah. out during Eid. It's coming out Eid uh, 2020. And I think he looks really good. And I have a lot of hope for it. I do too. Uh, because, you know, we love Akshay. And I, I'm hoping it's a really interesting role for him. And uh, makes good for good cinema. So this is actually, I believe, a South Indian film. I'm not sure what language. Triple R. A fictitious story about two legendary revolutionaries and their journey away from home before they started fighting for their country in the 1920s. Directed by S.S. Rajamuli. Bahubali and Bahubali. Bahubali, Bahubali and Bahubali and Starring Ali Abad. Oh! And, and Ajay Devgan. Ajay Devgan. Ajay Devgan. Okay. Ajay Dev... Ajay... Ajay... It's Ajay okay. Devgun. Ajay Devgun. So I, not AJ. Ajay Devgun. So I do believe, I don't know what language <laughs> it is. Did I just say that? 47! What? I, I do believe it's South Indian. I'm, like I said, I'm not quite sure what language. Uh, but, you know, it's yeah, starring Claudia and Ajay. Yeah. Uh, so I'm guessing they know other languages as well. <laughs> oh, sure. I think it's kind of a. Number one, obviously, there's most. I think Indians speak at least two, or at least three different languages. They speak Hindi, English, and, and another language if it's their mother tongue, other than Hindi. Yeah. And many actors, their mother tongue may be Hindi, but they do different films in different regions and learn the language just for but if whatever their role is. If it's them, and it's as epic as uh, Bahubali, oh. I mean, come on, <laughs> that'll be fun. Lao Sing Chada. Oh yeah, we know what that is. That's the Amir Khan remake of Forrest Gump. Forrest which, Gump. if you said off the bat and it was Hollywood, the Indian, I mean the the remake of Forrest Gump, I would be disinterested. One hundred percent immediately. I don't care. I don't care about a remake of Forrest Gump in in, in America. America. Nope. You don't need to. Doesn't do it. need to be done. You shouldn't do it. <laughs> right. Uh, when it's but it's since it's an Indian remake. And how different that film could be. Yeah, and I think Amir Khan is perfect. And they, I think they call him, and it makes sense, the Indian Tom Hanks. Indian Tom Hanks, it does make sense. He's, he's, he's such, because Tom Hanks is such a, a wonderful person. He's, he's very a wonderful beloved. actor. And it's just a very similar character. And, and does very touching films. And I love the look he's got. Yeah, remember the first look we got on that image? You were like, heck yeah, that works. And it's also starring Kareena Kapoor. No, but that's not coming out. I don't think that's coming out until later in the year. Like, not until... December. Uh, yeah, like... Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's also the same director as Secret Superstar and, uh, like, Stars on Earth. Oh. Yeah. Wow. So, that's good. That's I'm, really I'm good. quite excited for this, which is strange because, like we said, if it was, like... Hollywood, we're remaking Forrest Gump. Oh, no one cares. It. Shut it down immediately. Exactly. <laughs> we'd be against it. Uh, next one is Tufan. Comes out in October. It is a uh, upcoming Indian film uh, directed by. Say this name for me. Rakesh Omprakash. Produced by him. And oh, and also produced by Farhan Akhtar. Starring Farhan Akhtar. Ah. He's playing a boxer. I've seen a picture of him. Yes, you that. have. He got jacked. He is jacked. It is the same director as Bog Milka Bog. Sweet. And I think the uh, he that true guy, story. Uh, no, I don't believe it's a true story. Um, but he, he also uh, was heavily in, involved in Rang de Rasanti. Bang de Rasanti. Bang de Rasanti. But look at him. Yeah. Look how jacked he is. Yep. Yeah. So, sports movie Farhan Akhtar. Same Come director on. as Bog Milka Bog. Come on. That's exciting. Come on. Very exciting. 
I agree with you. I would see Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Like, I would just hearing about it. Just I'm hearing in. that, I don't need to really know much more. Yeah. Bol Chudian. I I hope I didn't just cuss. Nawazuddin Siddiqui. <gasps> the I may have. Oh no, that would be if I had said mother. Read the synopsis. Inspired by true life events of the leap. It says inspired by true life events of the lead actor Nawazuddin Siddiqui, starring Nawazuddin Siddiqui. So it's a movie about him and he's playing himself? Yes! How <laughs> exciting! That's awesome! That's awesome. <laughs> Who's done that? I don't know! <laughs> it's exciting! I won Nawazuddin Siddiqui. I'll see anything the man does. You know what it should have been called? What? Mother Toad. <laughs> <laughs> funny <laughs> but it, it looks like it's directed by another Siddiqui I'm not sure if that's his brother sister who but they have no credits to their name huh so I'm wondering if this is like a family project I bet it is but that synopsis alone has me very intrigued very intrigued <laughs> Nawazid and Siddiqui telling his life story starring in it as well I don't need I don't uh, uh, I don't need to know more. No, that's that. really awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. That's cool. But it's coming out in October. Uh it seems like there's a lot coming out in October. But Shamshara. Mm -hmm. Set in the 1800s, pre-independence India. The film is an Indian adaptation of Howard Pyle's Merry Adventures of Robin Hood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh yeah, it looks awesome. Uh um, in it. Kara it Ren Beer, Sanjay Dutt, and, uh... Huh. Yeah. I'm assuming Ren Beer's gonna play Robin Hood. Uh, well, he plays whoever that is. Shamshara, who I'm, I'm assuming that character's gonna be Robin Hood, and he's gonna steal from the rich and give it to the poor. Uh, directed and by... And Sanjay Dutt will play, um... For, uh, the, the, the sheriff? Maybe he plays the sheriff of Nottingham. Sheriff of Nottingham? Yeah. Has the story of Robin Hood been told from an Indian perspective? Good question. I have no clue. That story's been told a lot, a lot in Hollywood. Here. In every um, way. Funny ways, serious ways. It was done as a, a, a Disney cartoon. Yeah. So we've heard that story told many, many ways. But the, the picture of it looks pretty cool. Yeah. And it's... I think if they put a little Indian flair on Robin Hood... Oh, that could be super cool. And they might have already. I don't know. You, you, you can tell me. I don't know. But with those stars in it... Yeah, I like it. This is probably the actually most anticipated of the year uh, in terms of the uh, Indians. Because uh, it's already come out. I don't think it comes out until, like, next October or something like that. Okay. But they've already put out, and, like, a little teaser. Okay. Like, a little... They released a logo, <laughs> basically. Um, but... It's uh, called, say it, Brahmashtra. Uh -huh. In the post-Bahubali world, this will be the first ambitious, large-scale Hindi movie that's been planned as a trilogy. Hold up. Yeah. There really hasn't been a full-scale Hindi film that has been done as a trilogy? That's what it says. Well, obviously, when we think of a trilogy in regard to, you know, that it doesn't... Lord of the Rings. Well, yeah, yeah. for us... We watched uh, um, uh, Vishal's Three Shakespeare, but that's not a trilogy. Those just happen to be three films. Yeah. Now, the, there is a, it's not a Hindi speaking one, but the trilogy we watched, obviously, is the Opu trilogy. Yeah. So that's the only one we've seen, but that's not Hindi, obviously. Yeah. That's Bengali. So it's a Hindi movie that's been planned as a trilogy. The film has already been pushed a fair bit because of the intensive visual effects work. It looks like they're putting a lot of money into it, which they normally don't. Who is the visual effects king in India? Because it's it, here, it's industrial light and magic. Mm. I wonder, a, a, as well as Weta does a ton of great visual effects stuff. Um, it's quite a leap for Ian McCurgy. Oh, the is, director. Yeah, and that spelling, I don't know if it's McCurgy or McCurgy, who so far has made breezy coming of age films. The cast has Ranbir Kapoor, holy free, <laughs> Ali Abat, Amitabh Bakchan, and Nagarjuna. Yeah, and so this is the... Oh, I've seen that! Yeah, I didn't realize that. that's what that was. They released the, the logo for the film. You guys need any white dudes? <laughs> <laughs> it's a trilogy. We'll be here. We're here for you. Uh, but yeah, it's it, it also has Dimple, uh, which I think we've seen her. Yeah, we saw her in Dil Chata High. Um, and what else? Wow. Yeah, so this is going to be an epic 
epic, epic film. Uh, well, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully it was There's cool. freaking one, two, three, four, five, six DPs on this thing. What? Yeah? Six cinematographers are attached to this. Well, as it should, really. Mukesh, the casting director. <laughs> We'll be the we'll be the mean uh, British people. Whatever you need, <laughs> and if you want us to be bad, okay. But this is probably going to be one of the biggest films of the year, just because of how much hype is already <clears> there. <throat> yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be insane. Next, that's is, cool. Yeah, we don't know what it's about though. It looks from the thing that it's fantasy. Yeah, or sci-fi. Uh, next one, say this title for me, Rick. Eighty-three. Oh, yeah. Didn't uh, yeah. I just see Alia post this, or was it? It was Alia, wasn't it? Uh-huh. Uh, Gangubai Kathiawadi. Yes. This film revolves around the life of Gangubai Kathiawadi, a powerful woman in the 60s who was also known as the Madam of Kamathapura for her connections with the underworld. So it sounds, sounds like a mafia thing with a woman at the head of it? Alia Bach. Sweet. So I'm, I'm hoping it's like the, the mother of Topeka... Like right in in uh, yeah uh, Ram Lila, Ram, Ram Lila. but Ali Abad in the lead gangster role with Sanjay Lee and Sal. <laughs> Sanjay's directing. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why it's so high. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting a Sanjay film this year, and Alia's in it. If she's gonna be a gangster, she's gonna be like the female Scarface. Uh, well, he probably saw her, well, he, he probably cast her way before that, but like in Gully Boy, she's like, oh, she's fierce. Yeah. God, but I'm sure it was way That'll fun. be fun. Oh, come on. I would really love to see her go full Robert De Niro and Taxi Driver. Mm -hmm. Come on, Alia. Yeah, oh, I'm excited. But it's actually, because originally she was casted with, uh, in a different film with um, Salman Khan, with Sanjay Lee Bansal. Uh But that film got canceled. And so he, they decided to make this film, which has Alia at the helm. Sweet. So that's very exciting for us, because you know we love uh, SLB oh, and man. Alia. Um, and uh, that's freaking awesome. You know what is so cool now? Look at us. Yeah. A year later, we know who these people are, and we're going to be as excited as y'all. Yeah. And obviously this list isn't everything coming out and probably... No, because it, there's going to be 2,000 films that come out of India in 2020. These so. are just the ones that with people in it that I'm excited about, and that's why it's our list. And here come the comments already. You didn't talk about oh, yeah. Bill in the Blank. We know. We, we know. There's thousands of films. Tell us about it. The last one. Oh, 83. 83. <laughs> it's got to be. You know I'm excited about that one. Uh, and it comes out, I think, in April, so it's coming out soon. Uh, but it's obviously Ranveer yep. uh, Singh, uh, and it's the director is uh, Kabir Khan, who directed uh, the 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 one with Salman Khan we watched. Uh, oh, uh, um, yeah, um, no. with the girl right that he has to bring back to Pakistan, Baji, uh, Bajrangi Bajan. Yes, thank you. Uh, so it's he's the director. It's right. also starring Deepika. So you get uh, them in a film together again. Ranveer Deepika. Who else? Uh, Anybody else we know? Uh, Not by name. I'm sure we'll see some faces and go, wait a minute. Tripathy. Tripathy? Yeah! Cool! Yeah. So, uh, that's exciting to me. It's a cricket film, so that'll be fun. It's a story we don't know. And he looks amazing. It's a film about the historic World Cup win of 1983. Who doesn't want to see that? <laughs> that's true. But truth be told, Bollywood hasn't always made the best cricket films. Look on. The film, on Cap, uh, the film on Captain Mohammed Azaruddin's life was particularly bad, but the image of Ranbir Singh being bearing an uncanny resemblance to Kapil Dev gives us a lot of hope. Yeah. yeah, I remember people talking about the fact that that picture he's been posting at a ton of of the the hit swing he's he's I'm doing. I'm assuming the trailer is coming out soon. I would hope it is. Yeah. Well, or, wait a minute, no, April. It's notorious for. <laughs> yeah, if it's April fifteenth, it's going to come out April first. Probably a teaser, at least. April 15th. This is one of those films they can hype up a lot. Uh, put out a little, like, 15-second teaser. They put should, out a of teaser. Course. And this then put is, out a trailer. Yeah. Yeah, Keith Sprinklin. It's Ranveer. You're one of your biggest stars of India. Exactly. It's going to be amazing, I'm hoping. I hope so, too. We don't know. He also has another film coming out. Uh, it's, a, it's a comedy. Called 82. No. Which was the prequel to 83. Uh, and so there's, there's a lot of films coming out this year. 
this is just something fun I wanted to do because I can, we, in Hollywood, we know what's coming out. But I was like, yeah. I haven't heard a lot of people putting out lists or That's true. videos and, about yeah. like, upcoming Bollywood films. So it's something I wanted to do for fun. And I know you know a lot more than I know. So you can let me know down in the comments what's coming out that I know nothing about. And we will be able to pay attention to the big awards ceremonies this year because we now have a... Hopefully we've we'll, got a dog in the fight. Yes, hopefully we will see a lot more this year. Uh, I'm very excited. I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what your most anticipated films of the year are.